hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence and in today's video i am going to share with you um the difference between randomized and great search cv so to get this powerpoint that i'm using in today's video just go to machine learning education.com slash free you can visit me online at evidencen.com and to get access to my data science blogs and tutorials you can go to evidencen.com slash blog so what are the random search cv and great search cv what are they they are both hyperparameter techniques used in machine learning to improve models so what do they have in common and what makes them different well let's find out but before we get there let me first explain to you what cross validation is because we come across this a lot um, cross validation is a resampling procedure used to evaluate machine learning models on a limited data sample. So, for example, right, we'll start with let's say five. Our data is going to be split into five different sets like this. And then um, the first set is used as the test data. And then the rest of the set is used as the training data. And then on the second iteration, like the second time the model runs, the second set will be used as the test data and everything else will be used as the training data. And then the model is going to run again the third time. You now the third set will be used as the test and everything else will be used as the training data. So basically, this is what cross-validation is. And after all of this is gone, it's going to pull all, pull all the results together. This is good because it makes sure that every single sample is seen both in the training data and in the test data. Most times it helps to improve the model. So that's what cross-validation is. So what is hyperparameter tuning or optimization? So hyperparameter optimization is the process of choosing the optimal slash the best hyperparameters for an algorithm. And it's mostly used to control the learning process of the algorithm. And these are the parameters that cannot be gotten by the model, that cannot be inferred by the model. They do have influence over the model's performance speed and the quality, and the overall quality of the model. So basically, hyperparameters are like things that you can do to improve the quality of your model. Just think of it like that. So, for example here, right, number of estimators is the parameter and the hyperparameter is going to be this. So, you might um, do a hyperparameter search and you say, um, I want to find out the best number of estimators to use. So, you put in 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, those are the hyperparameters that you are tuning and those are the hyperparameters that you are searching so number of estimators is the um, parameter and the value for this parameter is a hyperparameter you know so you could tune stuff like maximum depth minimum sample split you know so here you can do maximum depth and then you put in two six eight ten and kind of try out the different um, maximum depth numbers that's hyperparameter tuning so with that being said, let's go ahead and get back to grid search versus random search CV. So with grid search CV, you specify all the experiments you want to run and let the algorithm try every possible combination of them. But with random search CV, you specify hyperparameter categories and the algorithm randomly picks specifications from the provided parameters. So let's look at some of pros, some pros and cons of um, great search CV. Great search can be time consuming if it's not done properly. For example, if you specify five hyperparameters with five options each, then your parameters will create 3,125 versions of the model because you just have five, point, five to five um, combinations. So if you say um, something like number of estimators and you provide 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and then you put maximum depth 
um, two, four, six, eight. Well, the first time your model run is gonna try 100 with two, then 100 with four, 100 with six, and all the way to the end. And then the second time your model runs, it's going to experiment with um, number of estimators 200 and maximum depth of two, four, six, eight. And then the third time your model runs, it's gonna do um, number of estimators three against each one of those maximum depth parameters. So with grid search CV, it's an extensive exhaustive search process where like the parameters you provide, the hyperparameters you provide and the options that you provide with it, it gives you, it tries out every possible combinations between them. And this can like cost you a whole lot of time. And then if you add in cross validation, like I showed you earlier, of um, five fold, then the model will run 15,525 times. That's a lot of time. You know, that's um, a lot of models and that's gonna cost you time. So for grid search, it's not good for like testing different hyperparameters at once. It is best used to test a single hyperparameter at a time. Um, testing a single hyperparameter at a time will give you the best parameter from the hyperparameter you are testing. Then you can use this information down the line to test other hyperparameters individually. So for example, you could say something like number of estimators 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And then after the model runs, it will say that 200 is the best number of estimators. Then you do another grid search CV where you enter 200 as the number of estimators and then experiment with um, max depth um, with the numbers 2468. And then the model will come back and be like six is the best maximum depth. So now the, the third time you run the model, you run your grid search CV, you're gonna enter 200 as a hyperparameter, six as the maximum depth, and then you can try a new hyperparameter. More about the cons and pros of grid search versus random search. Grid search gives equal importance to every single parameter, but the problem with that is that not every parameter is important. And because it gives equal importance to every single parameter, that's how it's able to find the best parameter for every hyperparameter specified. With random search, on the other hand, it allows um, experimenting along the most important parameters instead of all the parameters. So if you give it 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 for the um, number of estimators, it might try out 200 and 500, but then it won't try out 100, 300 and 400. And so with random search, the result of, let's say, choosing random parameters from the list, it gives, it gives you is that it doesn't do an exhaustive, extensive search along the, the perimeter. Instead, it um, does a random search. That's why it's called a random search CV. But the positive side of this is that it is less costly and exp uh, when you are doing experimentation, but it won't find the absolute best parameters for the hyperparameters. So on the positive side, it's less costly in time and machine resources. But on the negative side, it won't give you the absolute best parameter for the hyperparameters you are searching for. So apart from apart from grid search and random search, right? There's another method called the Bayesian method hyperparameter tuning, and this is typically used in neural network. It mostly res resembles grid search CV in that it will find the best parameter for the specified hyperparameter. But then it will proceed to run experiments on the next hyperparameter using the best hyperparameter information obtained from the previous experiment. And this Bayesian method hyperparameter tuning technique is implemented in Kira's tuner. So just a quick recap, grid search is best for like doing a single hyperparameter at a time and it's best for like finding the best hyperparameter for every specified parameter. Random search is um, more time efficient and with random search, you can 
try out many different parameters at a time. So you can try out number of estimators, maximum depth, and all those parameters. You can list a whole lot of hyperparameters at once and try all of them at once. And despite trying all of, all of them at once, it is um, not very costly in time, but it will give you the best hyperparameters. And in a different video, I show you how to do a grid search CV. And in a different video, I show you how to do a random search CV. This video is not focused on showing you how to do them, but kind of giving you a quick general overview of the difference between grid search CV and random search CV. That's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far in this video but you didn't like it, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. To get access to this PowerPoint slide that I use in today's video, just go to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are here, you can click on free data science resources and it will take you to this page. From here, you can get access to the PowerPoint that I use in today's video. Also, you can visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blogs. And as time goes by, I'll add one more stuff to my data science blogs here. And once you're here at evidencen.com, you can also click on this and to take you to this page, machinelearningeducation.com slash free. That's the website. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.